Hi guys, it's day seven of our love challenge and we're just talking about love and how to love each other better and have better relationships, um, marriages. So something is on my face and I don't know what it is. Anyways, uh, <laughs> today I want to talk about making love your priority. Um, yeah, I think that when you truly love somebody, you should put them first in your life. And that means, you know, whether you're dating or married, whatever relationship you're in, wherever you are in that stage in this process, if they're not putting you first, you know they don't really love you. Example, if they're not texting you back when you're dating for like a week, it's over. They're not interested. Move on. Um, you want someone who knows how valuable you are and takes the time or time to put you first and make you feel important. Um, now, in marriage relationship, well, first of all, yeah, we'll talk about marriage. Uh, make sure to have your priorities straight in your marriage. It come, God comes first, and then your spouse, and then the kids, and then your job, and then your hobbies, or whatever else you do with your life. Some people have that out of order. Lots of people do. Um, and that could be what's causing a lot of trouble in your relationship, in your marriage. One of the things that we would do in our home is have couch time. That means when we get home from work, we sit on the couch, we talk, make eye contact, have good quality time. And guess what? We'd ignore the kids and we tell them to do not interrupt. We are talking right now. Um, that's so important because it actually gives them security to know that mom and dad's relationship comes before them. Um, to know that mom and dad love each other, it makes them feel secure. So going out on a date night and leaving the kids with a sitter, that's not a bad thing. Do it. It's good for them. It's good for you. Um, you know, we would make them, the kids had to wait. When we would greet each other, the husband and wife would hug and kiss first. And then we could hug the kids. Um, it made them realize they're not the center of the home. They're not on the throne. Of the household it's mommy and daddy's house anyways so prioritize each other put time with each other first above anything else and build your relationship focus on that and it's gonna help in your relationship a lot and um, check your priorities today make sure that everything is in order and another thing I think that when you're dating say you're a single parent and you're dating um, at that point your kids come before your uh, girlfriend or boyfriend because you're not married yet so your kids are your family and you are the single leader of the household and you have to show them that you've got everything together um, on your own boyfriends don't come before your kids and I learned that the hard way um, giving a boyfriend what he needed over what was best for my kids bad idea never ever do that that's very hurtful to your children but once you're married, that at that point, spouses come first, then the kids second. Anywho, hope that helps out a little bit today. I love sharing all these principles with you that have really helped me have a great marriage. And I just want to see everybody else enjoying their marriages and not taking each other for granted, but continuing to build and nurture each other and, yeah, just have great relationships and live life to the fullest. So I hope you have a great day. Enjoy love today and make each other your priority.